as we have seen in the previous sections the properties of compressible fluid flow in which we have seen stagnation pressure temperature as well as we have seen the pressure waves and velocity of sound so let us study one more physical quantity which is really analogous to hydraulic jump which is called as normal shocks <music> is normal shocks now normal shocks occur in a fluid which is compressible now first of all the criteria for normal shocks that we should have a compressible fluid and such as air if we have a compressible fluid such such as air now this air may travel with mach number m is equals to 1.5 m is equals to 0.7 now in this when the mach number is 1.5 the flow is specified as supersonic flow whereas when mach number is 0.7 it is a subsonic flow so we have over here a fluid which is having a supersonic flow as well as a subsonic flow now the analogous quantity of normal shock in an incompressible fluid in which is water is hydraulic jump now we have previously studied what is hydraulic jump hydraulic jump is when it is compared with fruit number if the fruit number is equals to 1.5 and the fruit number is equals to 0.7 if the fruit number is 1.5 then it is called as a supercritical flow and this part is called as a subcritical flow so when an incompressible fluid goes from a supercritical flow to a subcritical flow there is jump in the level of the liquid that jump is called as the hydraulic jump similar to this in an compressible fluid when a fluid flows from a supersonic flow directly to the subsonic flow there is here we had a jump in the level of the liquid here there is a creation of a shock wave that shock wave is called as a normal shock uh, why it is called as normal shock because uh, it is because direction of the shock is perpendicular to the direction of the flow so for example if we had to study if we had to study over here there is a duct in which this is a duct in which the fluid is flowing this is the upstream and this is the downstream so in the upstream if it is traveling with a mach number which is greater than 1 and in the downstream where its mach number is less than 1 during which there will be a creation of shock that shock is called as the normal shock now during normal shock a sound is also heard because the shock wave gets converted into a sound wave now this normal shock changes its properties also during the normal shock so the pressure temperature mach number all these properties will change during a normal shock so this normal shock is always perpendicular to the flow and this is analogous to hydraulic jump so here the properties change from a supersonic flow to a subsonic flow and over here the velocity of the fluid will reduce so i hope you have understood what is actually a normal shock 
what how it is analogous to an hydraulic jump and how the fluid properties such as pressure temperature and mach number for a fluid changes thank you